Hi guys, welcome back to Paper Confessions with Caramia. It's Tea Tuesday hosted by Life with Patty and Kathy's favorite things. I hope you guys are all doing well. I have a summer book haul. I had the pleasure of helping out and supporting my sister at Berkeley's Bay Area Book Fest. And this happened on Sunday. We had a one day event. It was amazing to meet other authors and also see the other stores and food trucks. And I was so, so happy that um, it was a successful event for my sister. Real quick, wanted to show you the little gift uh, that she had given me for helping out and she didn't have to. So this is a really popular little um, coffee shop in the city, Craftsman and Wolves. And she had given me the chocolate shoyu caramels and these are addictive, super delicious. So Corey, thank you so much. And I just wanted to show you one of the many books that she has written. So this is a special edition with the new cover of her first novel, Hi, A Caffeinated Love Story. Um, she has another one called Hearts and Errors. So if you would like to check out her books, I will link the one uh, for this book in the link down below. Please make sure to check it out. This is really a beautiful and fun love story, super fun read. It's a contemporary love story that I think you guys will enjoy. All right, let me show you what I ended up getting for free at the book fest. Oh my gosh, guys, you guys know how much I love half price books. I have bought some of my wonderful vintage books and I have a collection of children's books that I collect. So I was super happy when they were asking the attendees to just sign up with them. Just give your email and they would give you a free tote bag. And then they had these tables that had all these boxes filled with children's books and young adult novels. So um, I didn't quite pick up any of the YA books for my daughters because most of the ones that they did have, I, uh, my kids have already read. And um, so I ended up picking books instead for my sister's daughter who loves children's books, just like me. And so I got her some really colorful ones and you might have seen it in my shorts. So we got a total of, I think, give or take 40 books. Uh, I've kept some of those books and the rest are with my sister now for her daughter and they've set it up in her library. So super excited for her. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to film that and show you what she got. But let's see what is in this bag. In addition to the books, they were also giving out some stickers and pencils. So I went ahead and got a couple, one each for my daughters, Lil and Emmy, for them to use. And then uh, for our first book, so this one caught my attention. I just love the illustration here. It's a pretty long book. It's called The Necklace see that's what the cover looks like and i thought um, this would be fun to make into either a journal a story journal but i just love the images not sure if this is the same one that they based a movie on um let me know if you know but i thought this was really really interesting so yeah, so that's that. But I wanted to use also the cover, probably harvest it for a future journal. Then we have our vintage children's books. And I love it. This is Jimmy Shoestring. So you can see that they were uh, selling it for $3 at Half Price Books. And I love dogs. So that's what kind of caught my attention. Let's see if it has a copyright here, but I think it's so cute. It might look, looks like the 50s. It is 1951. Cute illustrations in here. I'm just gonna quickly show you what that looks like. And then this one also, I think is from the 70s. Let's see if we can take out that sticker. Um, so it says Beaver of Weeping Water. So it has some poems in here, some illustrations as well. It's part of the Weekly Reader Children's Book Club. And it's actually from 1969. So this will be fun again to read through. 
Oh, this one is so adorable. So there's two. One was if I were a molecule, and I gave that to my niece. But the aesthetic reminds me of the Inside Out movie. Um, you'll see right here, you see these colorings. Doesn't this guy look like anger? And we have all these cute um, illustrations here. Now, in terms of publication, it's 1971. And this used to be a book for Darren. There's a little dedication there. But I thought the illustrations were just so endearing. And I just love the colors. So that's what this book looks like. And then here's one that I found really interesting by a Japanese writer. Again, I just love the color palette. And it looks like it was Ruth Johnson's 1981. You see a little bear stamp there. And for the book, let's see what the real, um, what do you call this, publishing date is. But there it is. I don't have my glasses. It might say 1958, but I could be wrong. Look at the gorgeous images. And so it has different haikus, like short poems on each page. I thought it was just amazing. And then the story begins, actually. But anyway, here are some of the illustrations in this book. Now that I'm looking at this, there's another collaboration called Bolo Books, which is Be on the Lookout Books. So I'm definitely going to tag them. That's hosted by Angela the Traveling Crafter. And these are some of the books, if you're looking for some vintage books, uh, make sure to check these out. Now, here's a cute one. Again, I told you guys I love dogs. Wilma's World, Good Advice from a Good Dog. It says, Dear Braden Catherine, welcome to Wilma's World. Oh, that's cute. They put a little paw print there. So this is by Chronicle Books, one of my uh, favorite publishers. I love this. I think it's so cute. I wanted to make a book like this uh, for my dog, Bailey, my late dog, Bailey. He was just an amazing boy. But I thought this was really cute, inspirational book to kind of flip through little coffee table book. So love that. We have another vintage storybook. One of my favorite woodland creatures are foxes. So when I saw this, I grabbed it. I only saw the orange spine, pulled it out and saw the beautiful image on the front. It says the little fox's storybook. And let's see, publishing. Anyway, this is what the pages look like. We have some of the sketches or black and white illustrations and I thought it was really cute. So that's that. Martha Speaks is one of my kids' favorite TV series, and we also have some of the books, so I had to get it, and it happened to be from our library, so I thought that was really interesting. And it says discard, because it's missing a page. But this is one of our favorite episodes, the television version of it, so I, I know my girls would love that, and I'm putting that in my collection. Also love the illustrations on this one. Um, I love that it has a traveling theme. I have um, their greeting cards. I have a collection of their greeting cards. And again, when I saw this, I just loved it. It's a really good condition. And so you can see all the fun illustrations. So here it is, a little information about the author, they actually live in San Francisco with their children and two dogs. That's really amazing to know that um, they're from SF. So really fun, quirky little book. I love it. So I am going to have a fun read with that and then add this. I just love that. Now, I picked up also one of these Halloween books. I just I don't have many. I have one that was illustrated by an artist that I really admire, uh, Martin Shu, and it's Ruby Gloom. So if you're familiar with that, um, they also have a Nickelodeon series back then. 
but I thought this was really interesting. So I picked it up. Again, wonderful illustrations. Look at the ghosty and the Dracula recount. And then just fun uh, images. So I can always have this around the house. Uh, some of the fun books that my nieces and nephews can read when they're visiting. And then I actually have this in my collection. And I had picked one for my niece because I wanted her to have this book. It is just an amazing and inspiring book. It says, what do you do with an idea? And it has a very beautiful universal truth. I'm just going to hold it at this angle so you can see the gold foil illustration of that egg, which is a symbol of your idea and the little boy. And inside you're going to see just amazing, again, just amazing illustrations here. I mean, I just love it. Illustration is by Kobe Yamada. And how beautiful is that book? We have some stickers too that I was telling you about that they had. And these got all smushed in the process of picking up all the books. It's a bookmark and a flyer. And then this one's a little postcard that I got uh, from one of the authors that were uh, next to our tables at all the avenues of authors or, uh, that we had. And I really love her children's books. They were very well illustrated. So I'm going to show you that next. So my first purchase at the book fair is a book called Louise and Tabitha by Stephanie Campisi. And she's from Palm Springs, so I just love the way this is illustrated. It almost has that Disney kind of feel. And she dedicated it. I gave her my nickname. So it says to Mia, keep on putting love into the world. Isn't that cute? That cat is adorable. So I love, you know, um, supporting local artists, local authors, and different genres. I uh, especially love children's books. So I had to buy, I think I bought a couple. And here is... Louise, Louise was a cat about town, dashing and charming and perfectly suave. But you can see how amazing this book is. I mean, just the aesthetic is so cute. So I love this. This is going in my collection. So the second book, wow, look at how gorgeous that is. She partners up with some really amazing illustrators, and this is called Five Sisters. And um, her backstory was when she wrote this, um, she was in the process of trying to conceive a baby. And so that's what was happening at that time. So I'm curious to see how the story unfolds. And look at that. Tamiya may it always be spring. And look, it has a fox. So she said that the foxes where they were living at that time would visit them every morning. And I said, what an amazing experience. So that's what kind of inspired the story along with, um, you know, her and her husband trying to conceive. And so I thought this was just beautiful. I mean, look at these illustrations. I'm just amazed. So... Stephanie, thank you so much for sharing your talent and also a big shout out to, to the artist, Madalena Andronic. Amazing talent there. Wow. She wasn't there, but I got to meet the author of the book. So that was really cool. More free books. Um, I was passing by a booth. I was just happened to be really just walking by. And um, the lady was asking me if I wanted free books. And I said, what are they about? So it's called Too Far Media. And basically, it's a new way of reading. It's kind of immersive. You use their app. And I think in there, there are like visuals and sounds that you can pair up with the book. So they were giving these away along with a vinyl record that um, uh, one of my sister's friends was able to get. But I was happy to see and uh, receive one of these books. I'm going to check out their app. I haven't personally used it. Let me know if you have heard of this, Too Far Media. It's an app. So this is a novel. 
And so here it is. It says book, music, art, animation, and film. So really interactive. And then um, what it does here is the founder, uh, some art, and then some music collaborations. So excited to explore this and see what the story is about. So there's two stories. One is called Arms from the Sea, and here's Beneath Kaki's Wings is what it's called. So those were two free ones. And then I went to an, one last booth. Um, my sister's friend had found a mystery book, like a little bundle, but not really a bundle, just single books that were all wrapped up. And you know how much I love a mystery. And you guys will love this, uh, being that we send happy mail. Uh, I personally have sent my mail uh, to friends for swap like this, and so has my friend Joanne, where we wrap it in craft paper or other decorative paper, put some twine, and put a seal. So from what I understand, I think uh, this lady has an Instagram, Facebook, and also has a website. So it's called the Limitless TBR. I'm not really sure what that is stands for but you guys might know so it's a cute little postcard and this is what it looks like she had several themes and this is blind date with a book how fun is that so for book lovers if you're up for a mystery book that you would like to read for the summer i thought this was really fun this had a category of um historical fiction and then it kind of tells you the rating on goodreads published in 2022 etc I thought that was really fun. And in addition, it came with these cute little stickers. And then we have this uh, bookmark. So we are going to unbox this and see what mystery book we got. I hope it's a good one. I can feel that it's a hardback. Let me get some scissors. All right, guys. Ooh. I'm going to have to save that wax seal. And let's see what we got first let's see what our bookmark looks like okay so this is really cute i bought the pouch as well and it has a really cute sentiment that a lot of you book lovers i'm sure can relate to and a uh, book Rifters, uh, for junk drilling it says i have no shelf control how cute is that so i got a little pouch with the same sentiment sorry about the scissors sound so that's one of that let's see what is in here another cute bookmark and then it has her branding that's a great way to do it we have some stickers that she has here love that and now the reveal of what this book might be a little ASMR all right guys this was twenty dollars for this pack so let's hope it's a good book oh my gosh it is a hardback and it looks brand new oh my goodness oh my gosh guys oh i love it one of my favorite historical novel writers aside from amy tan is Isabel Allende. So I have a book called Daughters of Fortune in my shelf. And I am just amazed to see that I got something that matches my interest that, you know, because you never know what you get in a mystery. And I love it. I'm super excited to read this. I cannot wait to show my sister and her friend what I ended up getting. But how amazing. I love it, love it, love it. That was really, really fun. That is my little Tea Tuesday, guys. I hope you enjoyed this summer book haul and um, enjoyed the unboxing of this mystery little uh, book surprise that I got. Please make sure to also check out my sister's novel, Caffeinated Love Story. It's called Hi. I will link it again down below. Thanks again for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.